Welcome to your Pilates workout for your hips, your butt, and your thighs. This home exercise video routine will help you strengthen shape and tone, lean leg muscles for better performance and fitness. If you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome. My name is Caroline Jordan and I'm a certified health and fitness coach here to teach you how to use movement as medicine. So if you're interested in more home workout routines that help you feel amazing, please consider subscribing and hitting that little notification bell so we stay connected when I upload uplifting video content that's just for you. But if you're ready to strengthen, shape, and tone your hips, your butt, and your thighs without leaving a mat, this Pilates workout is just that. First, before we get started, be sure to always Check with your doctor or physical therapist before starting this or any fitness program. Honor your body, move mindfully, and stop if an exercise is not right for you. But if you've already subscribed to the channel, hit like on this video, and brought your positive attitude, meet me in a 90-90 position. So before we get strengthening, we're going to stretch and open the hips a little bit. So you'll take your legs in this 90-90, degree position. Hip in line with knee, knee in line with ankle, hip, knee, knee and ankle. With a straight spine, you'll come forward over that front knee and you'll feel a stretch in your hip that we're about to strengthen. Watch out. From here, in this stretch position, I want you to press your knee and your ankle into the floor hard until you feel your butt and hip start to strengthen and wake up for you. Push into the ground even harder so that you feel that hip muscle engage and contract. Breathe, keep pushing, see if you can push a little harder. Good, press that thigh into the floor as hard as you can now, taking deep belly breaths, keeping the spine long. Good job. Relax that contraction, and then let your body stretch a little bit deeper into the 90-90 position. Breathe deep inhales and exhales. And then we'll try that one more time. Using all your power and might, press your thigh into the ground as hard as you can. Feeling the hip contract, still keeping your breath. Good job and relax. Whoo! Feel that stretch? You might be going a little bit deeper. That's cool. And then slowly come up. Take a moment to windshield wiper your knees. Feel the difference between sides. And let's do side two. So set yourself up in 90-90 position. Your hip and knee, knee and ankle, same thing on the back leg. With a straight spine, fold over that front knee. Feeling a stretch in your hip and breathing. Good. From here, you know what's coming. With that leg, push into the floor until you feel your hip and butt muscle contract and work with you. Keep the spine long and push a little harder. Good. You're there. Push harder. Oh, it's getting tough. My butt's working. And again, push harder, engage and contract those muscles into the ground. And then relax that contraction and go forward into the hip stretch a little bit more. Breathe. We're going to try this again. So with a nice long spine, all I want you to do is press your knee and your ankle into the floor hard. Once you feel your butt start to contract, push a little harder. Good. Make sure you breathe. Push a little harder. I'm sweating. I hope you are too. And then relax. Let your body sink into that stretch. Maybe you gain a little bit more flexibility or mobility, if you will. And you're done. Windshield wiper your legs. So it's really good to do that before we get into strengthening because we want to open things up, especially if you just came off of, you know, your bicycle or your office chair. 
Good. Now, meet me laying down on your back. So from here, we'll lay all the way down on your back. Your feet are flat on the floor. I want you to tuck your pelvis and lift up into a bridge position, keeping your knees close enough that they could hold a yoga brick or a grapefruit. From here, feel your abs contract, feel the stretch in your legs, and breathe. Inhale, and exhale. Good, lower the hips down, and lift the hips up. 10, nine, keep the abs contracted. Spine is nice and long. Good, six more here, pressing down firmly through the feet as the shoulders open and the neck lengthens. Good, can you do two more? And last one. Beautiful, from here, reach one knee in towards your chest, tuck your pelvis, and bring your elbows on the floor like robot arms. Lift your hips an inch off the floor, just an inch, and with this leg, straighten it towards the ceiling. From there, you're just gonna take this top leg and make a circle to the left and center. Circle left, center. Left and center. Left and center. Last one. Left. Circle to the right. Circle right. Keep that butt off the floor. Right and center. Right and center. Oh my gosh. Two more. My butt's starting to shake. Last one. Keep the butt lifted. Bring the knee in. You press the leg forward and in towards the chest. Forward, in. Breathe, so my tailbone is off the floor. You can see here in the video, left leg is stabilizing, right leg is working. Keep breathing, and remember, positive thoughts help with everything. Good, two more. Last one, take it out and hold. Kick the leg up, flex the leg down. Kick it up, flex it down. Eight. Stabilize with that supporting hip. Keep breathing. Whoo! Things are working. Four more. And three. Two abs tight. One. Take the knee in towards the chest, just like you did when you started. Pulse the supporting hip. We go ten, nine, eight, seven. Breathe. Six. Oh my gosh. This is hard. Four, three, two, and one. Lower the tailbone. Put the foot down. Find your stomach muscles. Come back up into a double leg bridge. Feel the difference between the side that was working and the side that was moving. Take a breath in and a breath out. Good. Lower the hips down. Wow, my butt's on fire. Let's do side two. Yay! Come up into bridge. Bring the left foot and knee in towards your chest, so the right leg is stabilizing, the left leg is in towards the chest. Find that pelvic tilt. Lift this leg now straight towards the ceiling, pointing towards the toes. From here, circle around one and two. We only go five times. Three, ooh, it's hard. Four <laughs> and five. Circle other way. I'm laughing because sometimes a good challenge is humbling. Good, in a good way. And two, last one. Good, bend the knee in. Now we send it forward, bring it in. Forward, bring it in. You've got those robot arms helping to stabilize you also. Woo, booty is burning. This is effective, this works. I can tell you that right now. Let's do four more, and in, three, whoo, hamstrings, two, and one. Now we kick it up, so we go. Up, flex the foot down, kick, lower down. Keep that pelvic tilt, keep breathing, stomach in tight. Kick and lower, kick and lower. Oh my gosh, when is this over? Three more. Three, and two, and one. Oh my goodness, bring the knee in towards the chest, posterior pelvic tilt. Now we pulse in 10, nine, oh my gosh, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two and one, foot down, lift the hips into bridge, feel things happening, breathe in, breathe out, Woo, and lower, good job, roll to the side, let's do some side kicks, so the legs are long, pretty traditional Pilates side kicks here, we're going to point the toes and wrap the thighs around, so you should feel your glutes working, top hands can support you here, from here, top leg goes up, you're going to kick it forward, flex it back, kick forward, and flex, forward, oh I love these, they feel so good, so creating long lean leg muscles, five, and back, six, and back, tummy tight, don't be rocking all over that mat, I want to see you use those abs, two more, point forward, flex back, point forward, flex back, come to home, Reach the leg up, flex it down. It's lift and lower. I'm wearing my scotch tape shorts today. <laughs> they crack me up. They're Lululemon. They're vintage Lulu. They're old. And I still love them. Good. Five more here. It's five. You should feel your hips working. Four. Good. Three. Got those side kicks going. Two. And last one. Hold it up two inches from the floor and circle around. Use your ab muscles, little circles. Use those legs, point or point the toes, whatever works for you. I'll support you. Two and other way, circle, 10, nine, eight, seven, you got this, six, five, four, three, two, and one, let's bicycle, so we go forward. Bend, extend it back, kick it forward, bend, extend back, again, forward, bend, extend, switch direction, so we go back, bend, kick, and press, bend, kick, and press, bend, kick, and press, good job, bring that leg in front, you're going to use the inner thigh of the bottom leg. We lift it up, lower down, lift and lower, two, okay, that was really three, let's be honest, five, six, you can point the toe if it's right for you, and eight, almost there, nine, hold it up there, circle, ten, nine, eight, whoo, six, five, oh my gosh, four, three, two, other way, 10, 9, this is so hard for my inner thighs right now, 4, 3, 2, and 1, lengthen the top leg, we go top leg meets the bottom leg and lower, top, bottom, lower, top, bottom, lower, good, use your abs, don't rock all over, you can do it, I know you can, that's why you're here, good, almost there, Seven, my abs are working also. This is great, bonus. Who doesn't love a good bonus? Last one, good. Now take it up there and just run, run. Little kicks, Barbie kicks. Keep breathing, abs tight. You can do it. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Four, three, two, and rest. Roll onto your belly, take your hands by your sides, press your hip bones into the floor. From here, shoulders down and back. Lift your heart, lift your hands. Feel your butt and hamstrings work to support you. You're just gonna turn your head to the right, circle down to the left. Center, to the left, circle down to the right. Center, again, right, circle down to the left. Center, and left, circle down, and center. From here, lift your legs, hold this position, and squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Beautiful. Sit into child's pose. Take a breath, inhale, and a long breath out, exhale. Beautiful. From here, you're lucky you've got two sides. Let's switch. 
So we're going to lay down onto our side and get ready for some side kicks. So you can prop your head up on your hands or lay all the way down. Use the front hand to support you and wrap the thighs together. Lift the top leg. We kick it forward, press it back. Forward and back. Use your abs. Forward, back, forward. I just love these side kicks. They always feel so good. It's the thing, you know, exercise doesn't have to hurt to work. People need to know that. Let's share that message. You've got four and back. Three, good job. Two and one. Good, bring it home, kick it up and down. We go up and lower. Two. This quick routine is something that would be perfect to do if you're trying to recover from an injury, prevent an injury, or just feel amazing. <laughs> These are great exercises to do for hip and glute and body health. Good. You have three more, and then we circle. You know it's happening. <laughs> Last one. Good. Okay. When you're ready, point the toes. Circle. Ten. Nine. Eight. Abs in tight. You can do it. Five, four, three, two. Circle other way. Ten, nine, woo, eight, seven, six. My booty's on fire. Four, three, two, and one. Let it lower. Bring it in front. And we've got those lower leg lifts. So we go up and down. Two and down. Good. Three. Use your inner thighs. Four. And we will circle, I promise. Six. Seven. Keep breathing. Eight. Nine. Last one. Hold it up there. Circle. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Wood burn. Six. Five. Four. Ooh. Yep. Other way. Circle. Ten. Eight. Good job. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower, extend this top leg. We'll bicycle. We go forward, bend, and reach. Again, forward, bend, and reach. Last time this way, forward, bend, and reach. Reverse, bend, reach, and extend. Bend, reach and extend. Bend, reach and extend. Bring the leg home. We lift and connect. Lift, touch, lower. Lift, touch, lower. This is so good for those inner thighs. You can do it. Lift, touch, lower. Use your abs also. Try not to rock and roll all over that mat. We're doing all the exercise on both sides, don't worry. You'll be balanced. And lower, four, and three, good, two, and one. You ready? Lift it up and hold, use your abs, and run. Here we go, little Barbie feet. You can do it, keep that running going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Woo! Give yourself a good pat on the booty. Roll on your belly. Take your hands by your sides. We're gonna do a little bit more for the back side. So from here, shoulders down and back. Lift your chest, lift your legs, hold. Hold here, abs are in nice and tight. Kiss your heels. We just beat the heels. In and out, in and out. You got eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Meet me in tabletop position. Abs are nice and tight. Right arm forward, left leg back, hold. Find your center muscles, breathe. Good, now just with the arm and the leg, pulse it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down, switch sides. Opposite arm and leg, reach and hold, extend. Abs in nice and tight, find your center, and then pulse, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. 
return to that tabletop. Opposite arm and leg, second time. Here we go, hold. This time, elbow touches the knee and reach. Two and reach. A little bit of ab action because it's good for you. Good, you got five. Six, this feels so good. Seven, I love it when exercise feels good and does the body good. Two more. And last one. Reach and hold. Good. Hand down. Pulse the thigh. Ten. Nine. Eight. Tummy in. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Step the foot in between the hands. Come up into a lunge position. Stay nice and long. Tap the back foot into the foot and then out. So into the front foot and out. In and out. In and out. Oh my gosh, this is really hard. Whoo! I planned this today, I promise. Four and three and two and one. Knee down, tabletop, second side. Opposite arm and leg, reach and hold. Find your center. From here, we go opposite elbow to knee and extend, crunch it in and extend, crunch in and reach. Here's four. I'm sweating. I hope you are too. Comment below if you're sweating. Let me know. Four more. Four and reach. Three. Use those abs. Two. Last one. Reach, hand down, abs tight, pulse that thigh. Here we go, 10, nine. How long is your spine? I'm watching you. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Step the foot in between the hands. Come up into that lunge position. Tent the fingertips, strong abs. Here we go, touch and reach. Two, reach, three, it's like a you're about to go off for the races. <laughs> and six, seven, eight, I have to count because I want to know there's only two more. And relax, tabletop position, find your core, take a cat cow, round the spine, arch the back, tuck the chin, belly down, look up. One more time, round and tuck, belly down, look up. Good, find neutral. Come to a back on the mat position. Slowly lift yourself up into bridge. Feel the difference from the bridge that we started with to the bridge now. Find your center muscles, feel your lower leg muscles strong and energized from the exercise you did today. Take a breath in and a breath out. From here, lower down, come to the side, and meet me in your 90-90 position. The moment of truth. So, we strengthen the hips, we stretch them again. Arms in front of you, long spine folds forward over that front thigh. When you're ready, you're going to take the front thigh and push it into the ground hard, feeling the hips and butt contract. Breathe. Good. Release the contraction. Fold deeper into the stretch with a straight spine. Inhale. And exhale. Let's try our second side. So, swivel over, switch sides. It's a very different workout. I've never filmed anything like this on YouTube before. And I think you're actually going to feel the difference when you stretch and open before and after. So, fold forward with a straight spine. It's a really effective way to train. Open up the hips, strengthen them, and then open them up a little bit more. So from here, press into the ground, contract those muscles, work them hard, breathe. Inhale, and exhale. Release the contraction, fold deeper into the stretch, and notice if you gain more range of motion. I wanna say how proud I am for you showing up today, for doing this workout, for taking time for self-care. I know it isn't always easy to find time for yourself, but I do know that when you make time for yourself, 
you can be there more fully for everyone else in your life. So I'm proud of you for taking this time out for you so that you can be healthy, strong, energetic, and filled with good vibes to share with those around you. From here, slowly come out of that stretch. Windshield wiper your legs. Feel the hip difference. And give yourself a round of applause or a little booty pat for such a great workout. I'm so proud of you for completing this hips, butt, and thighs Pilates routine. Now, I want to hear from you. Did you like this workout? I know it was kind of different. Let me know in the comments below. I hope this video is one you can use over and over again to build strong, lean leg muscles and power in your life. I'm so grateful to have you here on the channel and as part of the community. Thanks so much for subscribing, for sharing this video, and I'll see you again soon at carolinejordanfitness.com.